Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Trove Let's Play series. Now today, I know I'm a week late, but that's because I didn't play for the first week of July, but I am finally coming around to being able to craft Aurum, the new legendary dragon from the uh, Radiant Dayspring, I think it's called. So if we scroll down here, you can see I finally, like I said, I know I'm late. I didn't log in for the entire first week of July, so seven straight days. Um, but I do finally have 18 Zenzeas tokens, 2017. I don't know why it has the 2017. I wonder if they're going to change up next year or something like that. Actually, I actually have no clue, obviously, because this isn't 2018 yet. Uh, but we'll see then. But anyways, yes, I do have the 18. And if you guys haven't yet seen my guide on the new Radiant Dayspring and the tokens, I'll have it linked in the top right through the little card that pops up. But I did highly recommend that you actually don't buy boons. Uh, you save up the exact amount you need to craft the actual egg because the egg is a rare drop from boons So you would have to have 70 boons for I don't even know if these have karma to be honest But you would need 70 if they did have karma if not you'd be even more unlucky uh, I guess you'd have a more unlucky chance because there's no like guaranteed karma proc You'd have to get 70 instead of just 18 so sure you could get a Dormant Lord Keeper Dragon Egg within 18 boons, but it's highly unlikely. If you do get that, it doesn't mean that means it doesn't mean that you know it's like the way to do it. That just means you got super lucky. <laughs> like there's no other way around that. It's a rare drop. It is not a one in 18 drop chance. Uh, so definitely that's what I did. Again, I recommend everyone else to. I still gotta save it for the Tapestry of Timeless Tales now. Uh, I'm not gonna be worrying about any boons because well, boons aren't even worth it to me anyways. Since I, I could just craft the Dragon Egg. I don't really need three-day patron passes <laughs> anyways, but so let's uh, craft up the egg. So the dormant Lord Keeper Dragon Egg, like I said, 18 Zenzeas tokens. Again, I know I'm like a week late to the party. I <laughs> I didn't log in the first week, but let's go ahead and craft up uh, this dragon. And this is going to give us some more PR uh, as well as the stats and all that. That's why I'm crafting it today because I'm back again. I, I took about a three week break, but I'm back into speed running uh, and I definitely need this dragon to, you know, to keep up because it's the last dragon that I actually don't have. You saw yesterday that I, well, that was actually a couple days ago, but I released it yesterday where I crafted the, uh, or I bought the extra life pack. So let's see, where is Aurum? So here is Aurum, the lore keeper. I just need some crystallized clouds. Actually, not too many either. So let's buy those really quick. Crystal, and then we can just get a full stack. There you go, that's simple enough. And craft them up. So let's craft them. I think it puts it in your inventory, right? Yeah, sorry my inventory is not clean today. I forgot to actually uh, deconstruct everything before I made the video. Usually I like to keep a clean inventory, so it's not it's not too hard to see stuff. But here it is in my inventory down here. Uh, Aurum, keeper of histories. Tales great and small, uh, of love, of loss, of glory, friendship, and betrayal, all are known to Aurum. I'm just assuming because it's a very old dragon, that's why it's like saying that, but you know, who really cares about the, the text in the first place? I actually don't know if people make up that text or if the devs make up that text. So let's check out Aurum. If you just type A, he's the first one there. So Aurum gives 7% attack speed, which is kind of big, which is why I was mentioning that I really need this dragon that's why I want to craft it as soon as possible. Uh, plus 1,000 max health and plus 50 magic find. So not too many stats. The The attack speed is definitely very, very nice. So let's uh, get on Aurum. And man, I just made that top legendary dragons video. I know that was like last month, but I haven't really uploaded a video in like a month. So it was kind of just like within seven videos ago. I just made that video and these new dragons that keep coming out, they're just, they're just, I, I don't know what's my top five anymore. <laughs> like, I, I love Aurum, I love the two extra life dragons, I love, you know, Tyserian, I love, I know for sure that, um, I know for sure Azorian and Kadavros are pushed off the list because those guys are really old and really basic. I, I really, I do like them. They're still my top 10, but definitely not my top five anymore. And I kind of feel, I feel bad for pushing them off. But these dragons are just so like, so much more unique. And I do like how they keep using this like golden tint that, you know, if you go back and forth, you can see how it glows against the light. I really like how they keep using that. The same thing is on Tyserian, which is another reason why I really like Tyserian. And then the color scheme too, the gold and the blue. It's like Enora. I think it's called Enora, right? <laughs> it's in my top five dragons, I should know. Uh, it's like Enora, but backwards or inverted. Instead of the, it's mainly gold and then semi-blue, this time it's mainly blue and semi-gold. So I, I don't know, or I don't usually like blue, but for some reason, when it comes to the dragons in Trove, I, it's maybe the visual effects or something, but they just look very, very nice. But let's do a few dungeons here, because I also have something to announce. So once again, this is uh, Aurum, 
awesome looking dragon. Who actually made this dragon? I do not remember. Aviary. Oh, okay, so Aviary. I didn't know that Aviary was still playing the game. Um, but that's cool. So, nice looking dragon. Definitely, like I said, I think it's in my top five. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I just like all the new dragons. Um... So yeah, that's Aurum. Let's do some dungeons. So like I said, I do have a announcement. I'm trying to push this video a little faster if you haven't been able to tell. Because I've been making like 20 to 30 minute videos lately. And I feel really bad. So I kind of want to end this one off at a 10 minute mark. So I'm sorry if this one isn't as like... I don't know, as detailed as I usually get when I make these videos, I usually like say everything in complete detail like I'm doing exactly right now, and it kind of pushes the video too long. But again, I want to make this video a little bit shorter to save you guys from watching like 30 minutes every single day of like a lecture. Um, but yes, finally, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, forgot to check out the VFX. Awesome looking VFX, like I said, I like the gold and the blue. That's actually a really, I don't think this VFX uh, exists besides this dragon. That's actually a unique VFX. I really like that. Um, it's like a mix of Enora and, you know, like a Radiant themed dragon. But anyways, finally, back to the announcement. Oh, I'm playing the Gunslinger too, so I should probably be careful. Well, there you go. That's Gunslinger for you guys. <laughs> With power disc and all that, you don't even need to hit them off. They just die. Okay, sorry about that. My recording program kind of took a little poo-poo, and uh, it kind of crapped out for a few minutes there. Uh, so I'm trying to remember where I left off before it started messing up, because I didn't realize right away. I think I was saying how we should get into the announcement, and we're on that dungeon right there. Okay, so yeah, now I remember. So finally, on to the announcement. Uh, so starting this Friday on my Twitch channel, I know I promote my Twitch channel a lot. I mean, it is my own channel, and you guys are watching me, so it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, I like streaming, okay? You can't blame me. Streaming is amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's very, very interactive. But starting this Friday on my Twitch channel, I'm actually going to be going for Twitch partnership because I think it'd be pretty cool to be a Twitch partner, you know? Um, I'm currently an affiliate, and you, we have, like, subscriptions and all that, but I can't really choose, like, my prefix. You can't do sub badges and all that. Uh, but anyway, so the part that you guys really care about is the actual announcement. So starting this Friday, what I am going to be doing to kind of help me help myself get that Twitch partnership to kind of, um, c like, not concrete, but like, you know, guys know what I mean, the right term, uh, to kind of like help myself get that Twitch partnership a little bit easier. I'm actually going to be doing a ton of giveaways on my Twitch channel. Uh, I'm actually gonna be doing giveaways every five minutes. So if you guys want to, and I'm gonna be doing that for about two weeks to a month. Like I said, I'm kind of pushing for Twitch partnership. Uh, so I wanna make sure that I have a good, like, uh, a good time frame where they can be like, okay, so he doesn't just get like 300 viewers in one day, he gets 300 viewers every day for like two weeks to a month straight. You know, that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, that's obviously just an arbitrary number that I just made up in my head. I can't really, uh, like, I can't tell how many people are going to watch. <laughs> that's impossible. Um, but yeah, that's what I kind of mean. I'm going to be doing giveaways like every five minutes, uh, along with the carries and all that. So if you have yet to follow my Twitch channel, make sure you find it in the description below it's always linked down there and yeah we're gonna be giving away something every five minutes and i stream every single day uh for about six to eight hours a day so tons and tons of giveaways i calculated it in two weeks if i do a giveaway every five minutes for two weeks straight that's 420 giveaways <laughs> um I know, it was like so coincidental, but I don't know why, but uh, yeah, so that's over 420 giveaways, plus, uh, if you are a subscriber over on Twitch, uh, I am going to be doing a daily subscriber-only giveaway for an item valued at 1 million plus flux, so I'm going to be giving away not only stuff every single 5 minutes <laughs> for 6 hours, I'm also going to be giving away over a million flux every day to, like I said, subscribers only, so... Once again, if you have not yet checked out my Twitch channel, the link is in the description below, or just check out the Trove section on Twitch uh, starting this Friday, and like I said, every single day from then for like a month straight, maybe two weeks. It kind of depends. I'm going to submit my first application after two weeks, and if that doesn't get accepted, then I'm going to go for another two weeks and do another application. And I think if that doesn't succeed, to be honest, it's probably not possible to get uh, partnered through Trove on Twitch anywhere because the viewership is sort of low. Uh, I used to average around one to 300 viewers back in the day, and now I'm averaging around 60 to 100. So the viewership has definitely dropped off very, very far. I should have probably applied back then, and I'm kind of stupid not to, uh, or for not doing that, but... You know, I kind of want to try it out now. It's like a... It's like an hour and everything. Considering that Trove is declining, um, it's not going to get any better. So I might as well do it now. And while I have the resources, uh, if you have 
or I should probably explain this a little bit better. Uh, I personally have about 7 million flux of items that I'm giving away personally, plus I have like hundreds of codes that I just have from Shimmer Dream Codes, you know, the codes that unlock my own ally, plus all the other streamers' allies, plus, you know, codes from the community, like PenDK has given me tons of Salt Sword codes, even though those are kind of out of date now, considering Tryon gave us an unlimited use Salt Sword code, and people like Skyrider and a bunch of other mod makers, they always donate codes and stuff to me all the time, so we have codes, I have hundreds of mounts, allies, wings, uh, flux, dragon eggs, you know, just tons and tons and tons of stuff. So, like I said, for the last time, check out the Twitch channel if you have yet, or just check out Trove on Twitch during the next two weeks, starting this Friday, because I will be there. I do stream, I should probably say, uh, I stream at 8 a.m. PST to 3 p.m. or 8 a.m. yes to 3 p.m. PST every single day. So those are the time. F oh god, I knew that was gonna happen because of all the range mobs. Uh, so if you're wondering the time zone and the uh, time frame, that those are the times that I stream. I could start the stream a little bit earlier. I usually start the stream either an hour earlier than 8 a.m. or an hour later than 8 a.m. PST. So just Google PST according like versus your time zone. So like what I usually do is I do 7 a.m. PST to uh, CET or whatever, you know what I mean? So just Google it. I'm sure you guys can uh, figure that out and figure out the times for your own time zones. And yeah, like I said, that is pretty much my biggest announcement. Obviously, I really want to promote that because I'm going, like I said, I'm just, I'm going to throw all my eggs into the basket. I'm going to be going out all out over the next two weeks to a month to try to get that partnership. It's like a now or nothing thing when it comes to Trove because Trove is not getting any bigger anytime soon even with the eclipse update that's mainly for end game players it's not really an expansion it's like mantle of power 2.0 for people that played mantle of power not new players so yeah it kind of sucks for new players but uh that's why i'm doing it now during the summer when probably it will have its highest chance of succeeding because like i said that'd be very very cool if i could get twitch partnership and you know get all the perks of being a twitch partner and yeah that is going to be it for this video if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, and if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button plus the bell next to it so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. If you would like to further support the channel, make sure to check out my Humble Bundle affiliate links in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.